What's up YouTube? It's Ray. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be doing this lovely little sleek bun that I have for you guys today. And you know, um, this, this type of bun, this is perfect for if you're somebody with shorter hair, if you're somebody with thinner hair, and you really want that perfect classic bun look, but you don't want it to be too much. You just want something classic and small and cute and sleek. That could be easily, that people might easily think is your hair. This is my go-to bun style that I like to do. Nice little twisted bun. And I have more so, not thin hair, but like finer hair. Like it's not super thick, it's not super thin. So in order to achieve the thickness and size that I want in my bun, because of the length and density of my hair, I will often add braiding hair. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. So if you're interested, go ahead and continue to watch all the way to the end so you can see not only how I did this bun, but how I finessed my little baby hairs. And yes, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, so to get started, I'm starting off with very dirty hair and basically all I'm going to do is slick my hair up into a high bun. Now, if you have shorter hair, um, you can use, I'm using the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is what I'm using. But if you have shorter hair that will not go up into a bun, feel free to use a stronger gel like this. This is perfect for short hair because it's going to make it stick, okay? You're not going to have to worry about it like sliding down. You're not going to have to worry about none of that. It's going to stay in place and it's not going to move. So basically, I'm, done. I'm adding a lot of gel and I prefer to do my buns on dirtier hair because it's just a lot of product that I add to mine. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to do it on freshly washed hair, and you don't want to use as much gel as I'm using, that's perfectly fine. Do whatever you want to do, okay? So I like to use a lot, a lot of gel because it just helps my hair like stick better and it just gives me like a more sleeked look. All right, so once we got our hair up how we want it, I did use two of these little elastics to just help me out. Um, once you got your hair all up, what you wanna do is get your connect line here. I'm just using, my hair's already twisted, but I'm just using the pre-stretched hair. Um, this is the pack that it came in. I used one bundle and I split that bundle in half. So this is half of one bundle um, of hair, not the whole bundle. That's the key of getting a more natural bun is to not use so much hair. We're only using half a bundle. So I took half of a bundle and I wrapped it around a little hair elastic like this. And I'm gonna take this like that and like put it onto, attach it to my ponytail. So now what I want to do, we're doing like a twisted type of top knot today. So now what we want to do is obviously since it's going to be a twist, we're going to take the braiding hair and split it into two. Kind of try to get it as even as you can. It's not that big deal if it's not, but and then you're going to divide your hair into two as well. And then you're going to create a twist. And the twist does not have to be perfect because we are doing a bun. So, I mean, it's gonna come like unraveled or whatever, or it's gonna be manipulated. So 
but I am doing like sort of like a tight twist because I do want you to be able to see that this is a twist in my top knot so yeah just twist all the way down All right, you guys so now that you have a twist this is actually pretty cute okay now that you have a twist we're gonna start creating our top knot so how I do it because again we want this to look natural I wrap mine around like pretty pretty like tight together because I want it to just be like smaller because we want this to look natural and you kind of want to like form it as you go like I don't like those like cone shaped buns that have the little like cone up at the top so I'm kind of if you guys can see what I'm doing I'm kind of like I'm pulling it still but I'm like gathering it as well like trying to create like the shape I want and I'm like pulling it down and wrapping at all at the same time to create the shape I want and twisting it as well because that's just what you have to do to create the shape that you want and okay so it's all the bun is all in there I mean the the bun is on there the twist is all done so now what we're gonna do to even like further shape it how we want we are gonna add some bobby pins we're gonna make sure it's this good as we want all the way around so this is overall the shape that I'm going for I'm gonna like pull it up pull it down here and there and kind of fix it some more but this is overall like the shape that I'm going for so I'm gonna take my bobby pins and when you use bobby pins use these the thin flexible kind don't use the thick hard ones that those are hairpins you want bobby pins and you're going to like move and maneuver the hair to create the shape that you want and pin it into place as such and like this is good this bun is gonna look different for you probably every time you do it because I mean it's just it just is like your bun might look different than mine and so on and so forth but this is just the overall shape that I'm going for and you want to keep like moving it to like make sure it's like center like on your head and I like my bun really symmetrical like if you don't like yours like that then or if you don't care about that then this will be over fairly fast for you but I like my bun to be symmetrical and that's what we're creating today a symmetrical natural believable looking bun that's exactly what this is So now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna add some baby hair. Now, do what you want with the baby hair. Like some people like a lot of baby hair, some people don't. I mean, it's really all up to you and what you want to do. I like a lot of baby hair, so. That's probably what we're gonna do because I like a lot. So, but if you don't, then you don't gotta do that. And I like to use my little like edge brush for baby hairs, but um, if you don't have one, you can use a toothbrush or you can use, um, you know, just your regular brush if you don't want like very detailed hairs. Like, I don't. I'm not really feeling like all of the swoopish today. Number one, because I really don't want to mess up my makeup. And you know, we just need a little bit of action. Like we 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 just need a little bit of action. See, I didn't do too much baby hair, but I just did like 
just enough basically to let you know we got some we got some waves flowing over here but we ain't doing like a lot i really just don't want to mess up my makeup though that's really <laughs> what this is i just like doing my sideburns like as long as my sideburns is intact that's all i really care about And if you want to, you could tie this down. You could um, set it a little bit with some uh, got to be. I'm not doing that because honestly, I don't really want to. I just came on here real quick to do this little bun. I'm about to go run some errands. It's, I probably could add like one pin right here. Let me add a pin right there. It ain't gonna go in. Okay, it ain't gonna go in. So we just gonna leave it alone. We're not gonna add any more pins. But yeah, this is the hairstyle. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. If you are new to my channel, as I said, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and join my family. We make weekly beauty related videos over here and you don't wanna miss it. So also turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.